uh, lesson in polka patterns, and what we taught was a lesson that uh, took a polka pattern, the basic uh, kind of a, a, a whip wrap pattern, and we taught it at different levels, uh, starting at a beginning level and, and working uh, up to a more uh, difficult level. It would be an advanced beginning level where we started. Let's show you what that is. What we started with from a pose position um, is that we did uh, a basic for six counts and then we did a push apart on, on the uh, seven and eight. So it looked like this. One and two, three and four, five and six, seven and eight. Okay, remember that because we're going to start all of our uh, sequences from this position just to show you how we walk through those. Okay, the basic uh, whip wrap pattern that we did once we got to the seven and eight is uh, it looked like this. We did a one and two, three and four. At this point, the, the gentleman is uh, perpendicular to the lady, sort of facing into the lady. And the hand behind, we let go of that and, and push the lady out. Five and six to a close seven and eight. That was the basic whip wrap pattern. The, uh, a little bit more advanced level, we went to uh, with an outside turn. So we got to this point on the seven and eight, you recall. And the next pattern was one and two, three and four. Now we give the lady an outside turn. The hand closest to center of gravity is the one we start the lead with, and then we turn her to a closed position. Five and six, seven and eight. Third pattern that we did involved the duck out, and uh, this one actually extended over two um, patterns in the polka. So we got to this position on the seven and eight. We start again, one and two, three and four. Now I didn't turn to face the lady on this one. I'm facing back when I dance with her and I'm gonna give her a lead for a duck out with my arm. And we go five and six, seven and eight. Now I'm gonna turn back to close. One and two, three and four. And complete your polka pattern. The fourth one that we did was the most complicated. It involved a hammer lock and uh, around the world turn. So it looks like this. From the seven and eight we just finished here, we now go one and two, three and four. Lead with the hand closest to center of gravity, five and six, seven and eight. Now we're gonna do an around the world pattern to come back into uh, closed position. One and two, three and four, double turn five and six, seven and eight. Okay, that was our uh, polka workshop. Just a basic, and we did turning a couple's turn. One and two, three and four, one and two, three and four. After that, we gave the lead an outside turn. One and two, we hit back on the dance, three and four. Guy spin across, one and two, we pick up right hand to right hand, three and four. Front the lady and the skaters. One and two, three and four. Give you a little pattern break here where we did some prances and we went one, two, three, four. Actually, that's where we free spin the close to start over. One and two, three and four. But being we covered so much and y'all wanted more, we free spun you. We did the prances. One, two, three, four. We actually free spun the lady and caught right hand to right hand. One and two. Three and four. We give her an outside turn over the head. One and two. We prep through three and four. Other lady across one and two. Three and four. Guys, you across your step one down line of dance, come across and two. Three and four down line of dance. We gave her a neck roll. One and two. Back to close three and four. So we put that all together without stopping. One and two. Three and four. One and two, 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 three and four. One, two, three, four. One and two, catch three and four. One and two, 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 three and four. That's what we did.